Welcome to the second part of creating our app. And last time we did this layout and now we're going to move on to thinking about animation. But just before we get started, let's save some of these colors. So I'm going to choose the colors here, go over to my assets panel and just click a plus and all of those colors that are used in there are saved for us so we can use them again later on. I'm going to do the same thing here with the character styles and then that way I can come back to it later on. And uh, I can also do the same thing there as well and it gives us that text. Perfect. Okay. So with this completed, we're going to grab up at the top where it says loading, choose copy and paste. And we get in here. I'm going to, uh, let's call this loading two, just because uh, we are still sort of loading at this point. Now we're going to do is move from this state to this state using something called auto animate. Now on this state, I don't really need this image here. and I don't need this text. But what I'm going to do is animate all of this stuff moving. So I'm going to just use my keyboard, uh, the cursor key on the keyboard and just move this across a little bit like this. If I can hold the shift, it'll jump 10 pixels at a time. I want this guy just to only just have his foot touching right at the edge there. Now I'm going to do this one. And um, this is Toronto in the background near where I live. So I thought I'd use Toronto. Let's bring that in. Something like that, a little bit. It doesn't want to move as much as that foreground does. So something along the lines of that and the background just a little bit. Okay, so let's move from this to this. If we go over to our prototype stage, if we choose this whole screen loading and we want there to be uh, an interaction on here, we don't want it to be tap, we want it to be time-based. I want to say that after a delay of one second. So we see this screen for one second and then it's going to move into this one. We're going to do an auto animate because that moves the objects that appear in the same place. So we're going to move to loading two. Uh, so transition across to loading two and we're going to ease out here. Yeah, I think an ease out would be great. And we're going to do this for two seconds. So let's put two in there. Let's hit the play button. After a second, it moves across and that's what we get. So all the elements and just run that again. There we go. We see that they all move slightly at slightly different speed. I think this one in the background could just move a little more this way. Let's try that again. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now at the same time as that, I also want it to fade out slightly. So I'm going to go back to my design. just draw over the top a big rectangle for my fill I'm going to use this color right here and we're going to put on background blur again like we did earlier on on the last video to take the brightness down to zero and then bring the color back in because it always tries to bleach it out there we go that gives us that screen so let's try that now on the prototype it's good so as it fades across and moves in separate layers. We also see this come up over the top. So that's that screen completed. Loading two is completed. So that was nice. Uh, not as difficult as you may have thought to create an animation. Now we're going to go to the next screen where we're creating a map. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it over here. And let's call this map one where we're going to bring in the map. I'm going to go to file import. And we can see in here we've got a map, which is an Illustrator file. So let's bring in the Illustrator file and it comes on here and let's scale it down. We'll shift just to scale it proportionally. There we go. It's good. I'm going to double click this and we should be able to see the green in here. If I go to the green, I want to make this sort of semi transparent. So I'm just going to bring it down to like, say, 50 percent. Actually, let's type it in there. 50 percent. I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well. Um, go to the fill and bring its opacity down to 50% just so we can see through those two things slightly and they're not so dark. And that's working out really good for us. So we're gonna move from this screen into this one. So again, let's do a transition from this one in, into this one. So we've got to prototype and we can just drag this entire screen across like that. So it knows we're going across here. We don't want to auto animate this time. We want this one to be a transition. So let's choose transition and transition dissolve. We want to do it after 0 0.2 seconds. So I think that should be on the drop menu there to 0 0.2. And the duration of this should be a, it's fairly short this time. Okay, so we're going to see three stages now to this. If we 
click play comes across and then the map fades in perfect because that's what would happen it would sort of transition and fade in and take time now we're going to put a marker on here so we're going to create our own marker back to design and i'm going to choose a circle hold shift to create a circle something like that and let's zoom in we're going to make this into a map pin so we're going to do it by double clicking and selecting the bottom point here and then i'm going to use my arrow keys just to push this down and it's beginning to look like a, a map pin already and then if i just bring in this handle at the side so it comes to almost a point we have a map pin and then a circle in here so if i hold shift and alt i can draw outwards from the middle and get something like that so now with the two shapes object path subtract and now from two shapes i've got one shape nicely done i'm going to take uh, the border to white for this as well and then i'm going to put that i don't know maybe somewhere like this and that's going to signify where we might be so if we look at that we've now got our pin that's sitting on there and let's watch the process again fades in and it shows where we are let's do map two copy paste let's call this map two so we've got it in and i'm going to copy this i'll drag it down here we're going to turn this into a component in the next video but for now if i choose that as the fill we'll animate this one to this one and then we'll be ready to go so prototype over here and it should probably be all the same thing. So it should be yet time, 0.2 seconds to map two with a dissolved transition off and take 0.2 seconds to happen. So that's perfect. And pick this up the next one and make it interactive, but there we can see it happening. And that's what would happen generally with a map, which shows where we are and then it'll show all the artists around us, wherever they might happen to be. And we'll put another one in when we turn it into an interactive component. But there is stage two of this completed. So let's save that file, save as. Let's call this stage two, save it. And that's our animation part of this done. A good introduction there to animation. We've done some layout, done some animation. We've made some icons, some map pins, and then join us next time where we're gonna make some interactive components. Mm -hmm.